Hello, welcome to Movies with Mom, or if you've been here before, welcome back. I watch a lot of movies, but they take me several days to watch because I am exhausted a lot. I also have a different perspective on movies now as a mom. For example, I stick to maybe four genres and don't venture outside. So I like action, I like comedy, I like some romantic comedies, although they're getting cornier and cornier, and comedy. I don't like sad things, and I'm not a fan of scary or horror or gross. Tonight, I am going to be watching Rocky IV. I have enjoyed all the Rockies I've seen so far, and I can't remember if the fourth one is the one that people are saying it starts to get not as great, but I'm ready, I'm excited. I have no predictions. I don't know where else they could take this character. Maybe he's going to be teaching his son. I don't know. Maybe Adrian gets in the ring. I don't know. That was a joke. With all that being said, let's get started. Let's watch Rocky IV. Rocky IV. Ooh, we're continuing the Eye of the Tiger. Did Michael Bay help with this one? I'm totally kidding. Yeah, it's mentally erected, right? Yeah. But it makes all the sense in the world. Look, when you run that last fight, you won by one second, you beat me by one. I lied. Oh, you lied. <laughs> <laughs> oh. TV, no newspapers, just you and me. Nothing, just you and me. Young enough to whip you, Dolph Lundgren. Oh, yeah. Remember now, you fight great, but I'm a great fighter. Huh? It's too bad we gotta get over. Huh? Uh, just keep punching, Apollo. Wanna ring the bell? Ding, ding. <laughs> a ding, ding, a ding, ding. The ding, ding, the ding, ding. Maybe I'll end here with the wrong guy. <laughs> Don't you think that's a little bright, don't you think? You're developing a very, very loud personality. Don't go too fast, or you're gonna get out of focus. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if we wait any longer, then I'll be ready for the next break. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting ready to go on a big fight or something. Watch this. What the heck is that? Oh my gosh. What the hell is this? Your present. Oh, come on, he looks great. He was extremely insightful, Rob. Oh, he was sad. <laughs> yeah, pretend you're happy, will you? Please make a wish. It's creepy. That talks, that thing. It's creepy. <laughs> Think there. Very good, huh? <laughs> oh my gosh, it responds. Let me put out this one, two, three. Oh, wow. <laughs> Worry. <laughs> Polly looks like he's like one wrong move away from just blowing his top. What are you doing with that kid? It's a special night. Yeah, it's Wednesday. It's almost been nine years since you've been married to me, so mm. you should rise. Oh, the anniversary. Has it been that rough? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Say, it's just been nice. Oh, it's beautiful. Uh oh. To answer a few questions. Excuse me, how long are you here for? Uh, no more talk now. Here. We will talk after yeah, right. we don't Today may have proved to be a landmark in sports history. After unraveling years of red tape, Russia will now throw its hat into the ring. World amateur champion Captain Ivan Drago has come here with his trainers. We would like to have an exhibition bout with your famous champion Rocky Balboa. What makes you think oh. he can stand the pressure of fighting someone in season? You make it sound like he's indestructible. Yes. He, he looks like it. Can, this wreak havoc among the professional heavyweight ranks? can he not speak he for himself, first, or is he? does he not know English? I want to learn to fight. See, I fight, so you don't have to fight. Your head doesn't look like a punching bag. No. It looks like a catcher's mitt. <laughs> oh. 
as a small portion of the advances our countries made in the technology of human performance. My word. It makes a man a better man. Then how do you explain his uh, freakish strength? Like you, Papa. <laughs> a normal heavyweight. Average of 700 pounds. <laughs> Drago averages Dang. 1,850 pounds. And what Is it rigged? Those? Whatever he hits. Why do you want to fight again? Let's just say it's something I believe. Ooh, is this one about Creed okay. fighting? See you That's later, Gil. new. Don't you think people are... I mean, what at this point in your life is worth getting hurt for? What the hell was that? That's my girl. Thanks, honey. You're welcome. <laughs> my baby. You're the greatest. See you, sport. Well, who taught her to talk like that? She loves me. <laughs> like I was saying, uh... Great fun. For nearly five years, don't you think it's time to start thinking about something else? Either of you. Look, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I just care about you both. Right here, mm. right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should have slipped that way. Yeah, you definitely should have slipped that way. But why don't you step by that ring, Stan? It's like ancient history. Oh, ancient history, you know. I don't see anybody asking for autographs, do you? Well, you know, this fight you're having against the Russians, you think maybe. It ain't against him. I think maybe it's like uh, you against you. What do you think? Oh. No, I think you really are getting brain damage. You don't want to believe it, but maybe the show is over. Where do we go, Stallion? Let's face it, we, we, we got to change sometime. I don't want to change. We're, we're, we're changing. We're, we're like turning into regular people. But you can't change what you really are. See, we're born with a killer instinct that you can't just turn off and on like some, some radio. We have to be right in the middle of the action because we're the warriors. Without some damn war to fight, then the warrior may as well be dead, Stallion. The great talker, pal. You know me, Stallion. I have so many thoughts on this. He was saying that he and Rocky Balboa are set apart from other people because they're warriors. And if they don't have a fight, then what is there for them to do? because he was saying that there's not really any retirement, right? It's, you know, you could have wealth and all that, but if you're not actually doing anything, what's the point? And I thought that was interesting because I guess like kind of chemical makeup of people, you've got your hunters and your gatherers, right? So you've got some people who are the gatherers that are very okay with, um, I guess like simpler tasks and simpler work. And then you've got the people that are the hunters, that they have to, you know, be on the move. Like, we've even talked about this as it relates to our kids, right? That there are certain personalities of people, you know, hunters, gatherers, that have to have that, the purpose. So, like a stimulus. Apollo Creed is saying that his purpose is, as a warrior... And so the boxing is how he is able to battle. And so the retirement doesn't really work for him. He needs another fight, and that's why he's going for this. When he was speaking about it, I was thinking as it relates to what's going on in our world today. Not anything specific, but men need things to do, and a lot of them are not getting those outlets to be able to do stuff. So how many are warriors or, you know, as I said, the hunters, how many are the, you know, hunters versus gatherers who aren't getting the opportunity just... to fulfill, you know, like with social media and TV, video games, like all these things where people don't really have the outlets for. So that's what I was thinking about. I had to teach this young fellow to box, American style. Oh, <laughs> Some folks got to learn the hard way. Oh, he looks like so bored and I don't know. He doesn't seem like the most personable Drago. First, first thing you better get a bottle is a ladder. <laughs> Our country, Apollo Creed, is well known and very respected. It could be a good victory. Whoa. Whoa. Hey, wait, wait a minute. I've been with you. 
and I beat the best. I've retired more men than Social Security. I'm so nervous when they do big talk and then well, can't you deliver. You, you put that heavy bag with eyeballs in the ring with me, and you're gonna see the meaning of pain. Why do you uh, insult us? So Comrade Big Mouth started. Right. It's you who are the aggressor. I don't want to oh, this is bad press. In all fairness. Oh my. Not great. Oh gosh, I don't even know if I can handle this. I like Apollo Creed now. I mean, this is the first time I'm watching it, and I'm cheering for him. Ooh, it's still so early in the movie, too. This is not going to end well, is it? Five years. What training did he do to prepare, prepare for this? Shape of my life. I'm stronger, I'm quicker. <laughs> Personally, but with me, I, I I wouldn't mind postponing a couple weeks. I pull out, somebody else steps in and whips this jump. Then where does that leave me? What do you mean, leave your apologies? I'm very nervous. <sighs> Good luck. I hope after we can be friends. I hope so. Oh my, lifting up. This is really a show, isn't it? I don't think they're used to that kind of performance spectacle. This is going to be more embarrassing for him if this doesn't work. At least he's warming up. I don't feel good about this. Good evening, everyone. Along with Born to Work. God, I feel born again. Ladies and gentlemen, the Italian stallion, Rocky Balboa. Weighing 221 pounds, a former heavyweight champion of the world, the Count of Monte Fisto. Yo, you think you got enough names? Apollo Creed. <laughs> Weighing an even 261 pounds, an undefeated world amateur champion, Ivan Drago. You boys know the rules. Watch your low blows. It's time to go to school. You will lose. Uh oh. Uh oh. I can't get over. It's showtime! It's showtime! Excuse me. Round one. Green back pedaling now. He's been away by. Don't wait on him. And a slip. It's gonna start late. This is Green is over the hill, and uh, the Russian hasn't fought anybody. Keep going, ball stick. Moving in again. It's just gonna take one punch. Stand by Creed, blocking that right hand. Get out of there! Drago moves him against the ropes. Time up now! And now the Russian throws Creed across the ring. And with more punishment, the right hand. Another right, another right, another right hand. And what are you guys doing? This is supposed to be an exhibition. You understand? And a very bloody Apollo Creed. The Soviet strength is incredible. You can't do no more out there. I'm here fighting. Promise me, you're not gonna stop this fight. Well, I'll tell you something. That uh... was a pulverizing round for the ex-champion. You don't stop this fight. No matter what. Am I gonna watch Apollo Creed die? Oh uh, no. For round two, dancing around. The legs appear to be still a little rubber. And now it is the Russian just standing there. Well, he throws the right hand and staggers Creed on the right to the jaw. Another right to the jaw. Stop the fight! The referee moves across the ring. Shut him down! Shut him Defeated. 
The real champion. If he dies, he dies. What a jerk. He has no soul. No! There's a lot I can say. I guess what matters is what he lived for and what he died for. <sighs> understand that, but now I understand. That's Drago is the most perfectly trained athlete ever. How much are you making for this fight? No money. It's not about money. <sighs> Paulie's like, what? December 25th. Where? It's in Russia. We fight in Soviet Union, but we fight nowhere. I'm afraid for my husband's life. All I want is for my husband to be safe. He's a professional fighter, not a killer. Who also said if he dies, he dies. Don't lies in false propaganda to support... But look at how he responded when he killed Apollo. Violent, but perhaps this simple defeat will be a perfect example of how pathetically weak your society has become. Mrs. Balboa, how does it feel to be part of such a thing? Mrs. Balboa, you did a creed set to make up your husband's mind. Why are you going at Christmas? I'm not going to Russia. I don't know what you're talking about. I feel like I just stand there and give them the mom look. Until they were so uncomfortable. Like in Paddington. <laughs> Sorry. Why are you looking at me like that? It's called a hard stare. said they were going to let me train in Russia. And... Give it some time. Don't do this. Are you willing to lose everything? Adrian, this ain't everything. There's a lot more than this, Adrian. Even if you win, what have you won? Apollo's still going? Why can't you change your thinking? Everybody else does. Because I'm a fighter. That's the way I'm made, Adrian. We can't change what we are. At first, I thought this montage was just showing all of the moments with Creed for, like, inspiration, but it's just showing all the places he's been on this journey. Is it still to inspire? Did you pack your toothbrush? Hey, stop busting my chops. I'm going to have a wires tied when I get back. Are you scared? Well, wouldn't you be? If a big giant male wanted to beat me up, I'd be real scared. Aww. Good luck. We take you to quarters now. Hey, when does the sun come up? Get in the car now. We have a very long trip. Sounds like Dracula's cousin. What's at this dumb location? Yeah. Why? You planning to grow a reindeer or something? <laughs> I just... Who are they? Where do you go? 
देखो gonna go out running in snow boots and stuff. Oh, we're seeing a comparison of training. Cleans. Adrian came. It's you. It's you. I'm with you no matter what. Now he has what he needs. Dang. That is very impressive. Hmm. Wonder what that was. and Merry Christmas from a very unusual place where this promises to be the most watched event in boxing history. I know sometimes I act stupid and I say stupid things, but you kept me around and other people would have said drop that bum. But if I could just unzip myself and step out and be someone else, I want to be you. You're real hot, Rock. Now bust this guy's teeth out. That's right. Right now, well, he's not used to the booze, right? Through this crowd and the champ has a look tonight that can burn through lead. It seems that the booing crowd has absolutely no effect on the man. That's my dad. You know, what do you think we are, nerds? <laughs> well, it sounds insane. <laughs> Ivan Drago he seems impervious to this madness of the crowd. Like Does it mean to say he doesn't not, seem to have much personality? This is not for the title. Oh my. 
That booing sounds angrier than normal. Is the whistling bad or good? Here it's good. <laughs> Come on, Rocky. Take it straight to him. Take it straight to him. There's the bell for the opening round, and Rocky Balboa comes out to the center ring. Come on, Rocky. Get out of here. 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 And Balboa is not staying on balance because. Hands up. Again. Rocky's hurt. He's Come on, what tricks do you have, Rocky? Why doesn't he protect his face more? Trying to stay in the middle of the ring against the big Russian. Do what you gotta do. Stay with him. Like, shouldn't he be more like this? People that know boxing, shouldn't he be more like this? Am I wrong? him. Now he's got the advantage. Surprise! Woohoo! <laughs> So one more bad shot to, and then he goes blind. Did that like heal? Nervous. Ooh. Yes. Yes. 
This is just a street fight. It's a killing his best friend. Somehow it doesn't seem equal. Woo! Yay! I came here tonight. A lot of people hating me. And I guess I didn't like you much none either. I've seen a lot of changing. The way you felt about me, the way I felt about you. In here, two guys killing each other. That's better than 20 million. But if I can change, and you can change, everybody can change. to my kid who should be home sleeping. Merry Christmas, kid! You see what you got Aww. on the spot? Let it <laughs> Another great Rocky film. How is it that Sylvester Stallone is able to, time and again, do sequels that are good? That is very rare. Like, I think I can only name a handful of films that sequels are as good or better than the first. I loved it. And I love that all, so I've only, this is the fourth, so I've only seen four of the, is there six? And they all seem to flow into each other really well. You know, like it, it feels like the same movie, just like chapters of it, I guess. I'm very sad that Apollo Creed died, though. You know, in the first film, you kind of... But hate is too strong a word. I mean, he's the, the competitor. You don't like him. And then he comes back in the third, and you like him. And he's there to help Rocky. And then Rocky helps him in this one, and then he dies. <sighs> and I did notice that the emotions was tugging on my heartstrings a little bit, but there was so much going on that was distracting to my brain. So I didn't cry because of how much there was going on. I'm sure there was a lot when this movie came out that had to do with turmoil with Russia. I also noticed how this time when Rocky was getting ready for the fight, was it the last one where he was really struggling for not confidence like inspiration the strength and this one was it that the stakes weren't like he had nothing to lose this time he already lost apollo creed and now it was just he had to do this almost in honor of apollo creed maybe i'm wrong on that like he really wasn't afraid 
It was maybe like he was just numb to the pain of everything going on. And so that helped push him through. I don't know. I have to think on that one. Comment your thoughts on why this fight, the anticipation of it, didn't seem a struggle for Rocky. I'm really enjoying all these Rocky movies. This is like weirdly my style of film. I say weirdly because stereotypically young moms like myself, am I a young mom? Anyway, moms like myself probably don't go for these type of movies, but I do. I enjoy them very much. Anyway, once again, thank you for joining me in another episode of Movies with Mom. I hope to see you next time. I'm going to head off to bed now. Good night.